Um, but I did say I was going to let I.K. Fuego know uh, my thoughts on the new Weekend album, so I'm going to do that now. Um, okay, cool. Drum roll. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, and change scene. Um, I won't lie. When it comes to the Weekend's new album, I was rather disappointed. Um, I can't lie. You can probably see behind me. There's a little poster in the corner over there which is um, the Weekend's Trilogy. It's a metal poster I got made by a good friend of mine who used to do custom art. Cost me a fair bit um, because it is one of my favourite albums ever made. For me, possibly the strongest... It's one of the strongest R&B albums ever made. It's one of the most innovative projects ever made. From that, we've seen The Weekend then go on to uh, moderate pop success, doing the Starboy stuff, and then going absolutely um, on a different level um, off the back of that. And then obviously going into After Hours, we felt that sort of uh, explosive, sort of pop sensational vibes, but still kind of holding true to an extent. Um, in between that, I didn't particularly like the Starboy era. It wasn't really for me. Didn't really do a lot. I didn't particularly like the music. I didn't particularly like the sound. Again, it's a sort of sound that doesn't really do much for me. But then My Dear Melancholy dropped. Um, and My Dear Melancholy, for me, is The Weeknd's second best project he's made. My Dear Melancholy is just e my dear Melancholy is just everything I want The Weeknd to be. Kind of sultry, kind of spacey, um, almost like <laughs> mega depressive, self-deprecating R&B. That's what I want from The Weeknd. Um, and again, I, I'm aware artists um, kind of move forward and I'm aware that artists kind of change their, their kind of musical arrangements and what they're interested in and their fan bases grow and their fan bases want to see certain things. There is a big sect of Weekend fans that massively prefer him pre the fame. That's a, normal thing. That's a normal thing. It's a very normal thing for a lot of artists. However, when it comes to the new project, Dawn FM, there's maybe two tracks on there that I could imagine myself listening to and going, this slaps. Um... One of those is obviously the, um, the, the the track that came out before, kind of about three months before the album drop, which was Take My Breath. I love the, I love the extended mix of Take My Breath because it feels fresh. It feels new. It feels very electronically um, sound. It feels very well produced and very well rounded. Um, but to me, the vast majority of the rest of the album, I can't lie, bro. It just sounds thrown together. Like it sounds like it's, it's purposely been made to sound off to me. Um, it, it sounds purposefully fuzzy. It sounds like demos. A lot of the tunes, the vocals just sound weird. I don't Again, I don't know if this is me kind of flipping out about it and not listening to it in the way it's supposed to be listened to, but I find the weekend, the weekend's vocals on Dawn FM to just be all over the place. Not actually what he's singing, just the mixing um, of the vocals just seem to be all over the place. The instrumentals seem to be so rough. It seems like they've been done in one take. And obviously, they probably haven't. They've probably been done a thousand times and they want to get the perfect amount of kind of um, dissonance in there. They want to get the perfect amount of kind of natural sort of sound but i don't want the weekend to sound like a like a disco singer like i i had the the time um i had i had the time and i understood it with after hours because after hours still had elements of what we love about the weekend this new project just feels like it's almost trying to be too clever it feels like it's trying to be too alternative to me um which is a shame because a lot of people really like the new album a lot of people got it a lot of people very much enjoyed it but for me yeah it's not really my uh cup of tea um if I'm being entirely honest, but there we go. IK, I hope that answers your questions um, about the new Weekend album. I'm a massive Weekend fan. You can see that's one of the few posters you can actually see behind me. I've also got a Lion King one. I've got a Matrix one. I've got a Goodnight Sweetheart one, which is my favorite series ever. I've also got um, five Marvel ones, as you can see. I'm a bit of a Marvel fanatic, as you can see from the uh, layout of my room. But um, yeah, that's my general feelings on that one. But again, the Weekend trilogy is probably my probably my favorite album ever made. Realistic. At this point, it probably is. I'm trying to think of anything better. Maybe... Um, Maybe J Huss. Um, maybe J Huss's first album. Maybe. That might be my favourite. But we never know. Uh, moving forward then, let's get into this. Kids Daniel, uh, which has been suggested today. Sorry for the monologuing. I apologise, my friends. I do apologise. I do love a monologue, me. Yo, this is Skepsis and you're listening to Kovu. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, Cup Camp TV. Stay locked.